This is YouTube's University's Automotive Locksmith course, lesson number four, Super Remotes Explained. So when should you use the Super Remotes? Well, let me tell you a little bit about the edit first, right? This remote is two parts, not one. The transponder chip, which is a super chip, and the remote portion, right? I would only use this, say, if a vehicle uses an an onboard program procedure, right? You program the chip, then you do some movements to program the remote, you know? Um, or, you know, when sometimes, a lot of users, a lot of Toyota, Lexus, Scions, when you program the chip through the OBD, but you also program the remote through the OBD in a separate occasion. So this is, this is good for that as well. So those are some instances when you would use a super remote. Here's a three button version. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are my two favorite super remotes to use, right? If you type in this name and whatever distributor, distributor you use, the, these exact ones will pop out. This is my favorite three button. Although this doesn't really come up, but you know, I wish there was a one with the panic button instead, but hey, it is what it is, right? And then there's this one right here for four buttons. So yeah, those are my favorites. So how to generate an X4 super remote? First things first, gotta take out the battery. I already kind of took it up, tried it a bit open off camera, but there we go. Putting in the battery. Cool. It works. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're gonna do a Lexus ES three hundred two thousand two. So let's look. At, um, that's the FSI CC ID I need. There we go. It's gonna be this one right here, ES300. Now I'm generating the remote. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's how you do it. So just program this super remote with the KM100. All right. The customer's here, so I can't really get to lock, unlock, you know, the trunk. Anyway, so that's how you guys use a super remote. Thanks for watching.